the question for me was, could I craft a play that was entertaining and accurate? Grand Opera on 23rd Street. I couldn't afford the price of admission, so he would sneak us in to watch. This is a subject matter I expected, that if I tried to do a play on it, it would be seriously scrutinized. Could I find an actor who could change makeup, basically, change faces? Is Mr. Winston attorney for Citibank or for you personally? Hmm? <laughs> Mr. Mitchell responded, well, counsel for National City Bank, National City Company engage the audience in a transformation that was occurring on stage where he goes from speaking straightforward English to all of a sudden back and into Shakespeare. Woe to the hand that shed this costly blood over thy wounds now do I prophesy. A curse shall light upon the greed of men. And I'm thrilled to say that Bob does yes. capture that uh, with great skill in terms of what the bankers got away with in terms of what the lawyers were, how the lawyers were, were manipulating corporations. Uh, and I know this still goes on, but I'm, I'm, it, what's great, what I was grateful about in the script was that they got their comeuppance. There's also a very powerful story here that I think other people should see. I think it's educational. I think it's inspiring. I think Pecora is unique and special. This may be the way that I can help affect change. I would like to see this piece done in DC. I would like to see this piece done in LA. I would like to see this piece shared with people throughout this country to give them an idea of the importance of not just letting people get away with this stuff. It's unlike anything you've seen before. You will find both poignancy and you will learn things that you haven't didn't know before and be outraged by them and in a good way. Would I be intimidated if the audience were a room full of stockbrokers from New York? I would love to play to a room full of stockbrokers. Let the catcalls begin. <laughs>